is a new social media challenge that is gaining popularity and raising concerns. This one involves taking an excessive amount of an over-the-counter drug and has already caused three teens to go to the hospital in Fort Worth. Fox 44's Brian Glenn spoke with a family safety expert about what parents should know. Yeah, my first question for you is, how can parents police their kids' social media so they don't go down this rabbit hole of these social media challenges that could end them up in the hospital like we saw in the uh, Benadryl case down there in Fort Worth? Well, it's going to start by parents being aware that these things exist. And it's not just a Benadryl challenge. In the last year, we've seen five or six really significant challenges pop up. Parents have to be aware that social media contains these types of risks, and therefore they've got to start talking to their kids. It's impossible for us to know every little challenge that comes up, every little dare that's coming up. Uh, we've got to talk to our kids about the realities of these challenges, why they're dangerous, and the things they have to be careful of, because otherwise, it, 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 there's too much. I mean, I looked up hashtag Benadryl. There were 5.4 million posts on hashtag Benadryl on TikTok, and that doesn't even include all the other challenges there are right now. What age group are we looking at here? I know I'm imagining a uh, maybe a 10-year-old uh, maybe falling into this trap, but then I'm imagining a 17, 18-year-old person I would think would say, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right, but what age range are we looking at here? It's, well, you're right. We're saying t starting around 10 years old, we're seeing some as young as nine. The problem is ask yourself about the maturity of your child and then ask yourself, why is your child on social media? Some people use social media just to look at what other people are doing, but a majority of our kids are using it as a way to, to feel valued in society. They want the likes. They need the shares. They're doing stuff to push the envelope. So if you know that your child is looking for things like that, those likes mean a lot. They're posting all the time. If they're not getting those likes, they're down. They are probably more prone to fall into these challenges. And some of these challenges are, are really deadly. There was a serial cho a choking challenge not too long ago. Um, you know, there's been a skull breaking challenge. There's a lot of them going around and they have very, very, very significant consequences. Not just potential physical harm, but actually criminal liability. So we need parents to be aware that these things are going on and talk preemptively to their kids. Absolutely. Communication is key here. Rania, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.